Hello everybody, in today's video I wanted to show you the dash cam that I have started using in my car. This dash cam is made in Japan and it is from the company called Aikyo. Here, here it is. This is AKY-V360ST camera and this thing is amazing. Let me show you why. Installation steps are very easy. So the first one, insert the memory card into the device. What's good about this mirror is that 32 gigabyte micro SD card already comes with this device. The second, tie up the dash cam with the rear mu by rubber bands. It comes with um, with, uh, with with these rubber bands that you use to tie up the the mirror around um, around your existing mirror in the car connect all the cables so this one here is uh inserts uh, rear view camera power into av in port on the device so you connect your back uh, camera to this device and it just goes here at the top you can see av inline right connect all the uh, uh gps um device into into this so it scans your your position it measures your your speed of the car that you're traveling with so here we have the gps port all right step five connect the the power all right so plug it into your uh, your charger in the car so pretty simple um to to install this so here I connected mine with uh, with these uh, rubber bands here, right? They go around the existing, let's see, existing mirror. Here we have the power, we connect it to our car power. We're gonna connect the GPS unit. This over here is the rear view camera. It rotates here, so we're going to attach it now to the back window. And then we plug in the power. The camera here is uh, can rotate, so you can adjust the angle. Now I'm going to inside the side camera over here in the front, and it's going to film inside the car. Um, you can adjust, of course, this angle and, uh, you know, put it to uh, to the side so it films kind of what's happening on the left or right side of the car but I'm gonna I'm gonna point it to inside the cabin so if you have passengers you're, you're doing some car sharing uh, jobs on the side you can film kind of inside with this camera now this camera also comes with uh, an option to hardwire the power to your battery in the car so this thing goes to power your mirror uh, and the, the whole the whole device this thing goes to your to your battery of the car and you can basically connect it so it's uh so it's always on and it's filming even when your car is parked um in case you know you you leave your car um say you go grocery shopping you leave your car in the, in the parking lot and somebody does something to your car well it can still film it without uh, your car being turned on it just uses the the battery so uh, you can you can always hardwire it to the car, which is pretty cool. Now this camera also comes with uh, these 3M stickers to uh, hook uh, and hide your uh, cable. Uh, so if your cable is kind of you want to organize your cables, uh, these are pretty handy. It comes with this uh, with this thing here. It's 3M tape where you can put the uh, and hide your uh, hide your cable so it looks nice and organized. So that's that's really nice of them to include these uh, these tools. Now here how uh, the connections look like. So we've we've got the power uh, that that goes into your uh, cigarette lighter and the 12 uh, well it's 12 AV uh, power right. Um, we have a, a a connection to your uh, backup camera. We've got the connection to the GPS unit. We've got the connection to the uh camera that is a it's called side camera or your inside inside the cabin camera uh, and of course we've got uh the, the unit itself here that uh, has a front-end camera so we have three cameras all together 
uh, connected to this one device. We're gonna peel off this uh, sticker. Now this camera comes with uh, a lot of settings. You can adjust your, uh, your screen brightness. There is a G sensor. Uh, you can adjust that sensitivity as well so that uh, when uh, your, car, your car hits something, let me stop recording here. Um, if your car hits something, then um, it will basically lock that footage so it doesn't uh, get erased frequency if uh, frequency of your screen and how it refreshes whether it's 50 or 60 gigahertz um, record voice you can turn that on or off um, I keep mine on uh, mirror the image so you can actually uh, kind of flip the image uh, when uh, when it's recording it automatically starts recording here uh, screensaver uh, one minute, two minute, uh, you can have screensaver off. Uh, that means you, you'll always see the footage and you can use the backup camera as, as, your, uh, as your mirror, so to speak. Um, I have mine as a you know, screensaver, one minute, um, and then essentially it goes uh, dark, uh, save some you know, battery. Well, it's, it doesn't have a battery, but uh, you know, it saves uh, some energy and uh, it turns into a normal mirror. Other settings here, uh, language, time zone, uh, you can, uh, you can, you know, record speed, direction, and, and, and have a clock as well, or you can just record speed or clock only. Uh, my speed is recorded in kilometers per hour, but you can do miles per hour if, if you are in, uh, in US, for example. And then you can, of course, uh, you know, reset things and uh, update your software. So pretty uh, easy, easy settings here. And you can see it kind of times out after a while and starts recording, um, recording the footage here. There's uh, now you can have different views for your cameras. You can have something like this where it's uh, three cameras. I'm here in the middle, actually, <laughs> with. The, with the camera you're recording. So that's the middle one, that's the front one, uh, and that's the backup camera here. You can uh, change this and have maybe, you know, a different view. So you can uh, reorganize things here. Maybe have four cameras, two cameras. Have this view of uh, inside and, and uh, inside the cabin and uh, the backup camera. We'll go back to uh, something like this with uh, with three of them. And again, you can click into any of these uh, and and kind of enlarge it. So double tap. This acts now as a as a backup camera. Now it does record the date and time, as you can see there uh, in the corner. Uh, it records your speed, it records the time of the day, and it records knowing the GPS, it actually records direction. So right now we're facing north, uh, but as you're driving, uh, of course, if, if the direction changes, you're driving east or west, it will record that as well. Now when it's recording, let's say you get into an accident and you want to make sure the footage is saved, um, you can click over here and lock it. A little SOS button shows up here or, 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 or notification right um, and it's uh, it's gonna keep that footage so it's not gonna override it uh, if, if you have a limited uh, capacity on your micro SD card you can also take pictures so you can stop recording you can take pictures here there it is Right, and it will uh, it will store the pictures in a different folder on the micro SD card. You can also view your uh, your footage here from uh, different cameras, from the front, from the back, inside. That 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 is your you know video footage here, uh, and then the last one here you have pictures. Um, yeah, this one here you have JPEGs uh, being saved and uh, you can click on to 
into these and see see the pictures as well so lots of features here uh, what i like about it is is that it's very you know responsive and probably the easiest interface that i've used on uh, any dash camera Now, if you want this dash camera, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and drive safe.